This Australian Open draw has officially come out and we need to go through the withdrawals for the ladies. So starting with the withdrawals so far for the ladies draw for the Australian Open 2023. So we have five players that have withdrawn. Simona Halep, she's withdrawn or at least she's on the withdrawal list. She didn't actually put her name into the into the draw, but she is not going to play. Uh, Darius Saville also withdrawn. Wong has withdrawn. Tormo also out. And Naomi Osaka has also withdrawn from the event. Okay, let's start with the top section of the draw. Of course, there is... 32 seeds at a slam. No one gets a buy in the first round. And Igish Fiontech, she will take on Niemeyer, the player that almost beat her at the US Open last year in the fourth round. That's a very tough matchup for Fiontech to start. Winner of that match will take on either Udvadi or Osorio in the second round. Then we got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that qualifier battle will take on either Bianca Andreescu or the number 25 seed Buzkova in the second round. So potentially Fiontech Andreescu, third round. Or maybe Buzkova if you want to go with the seeds. Then you've got the 22nd seed, Rabakina, taking on Chucky Aredo. Winner of that match takes on either Yuvan or uh, Qualifier in the second round. Then we've got another Qualifier taking on Mukova. Winner of that match takes on either Kalinskaya or uh, the number 13 seed, Collins, in the second round. Potentially fourth round. Could be Rabakina taking on Sviantec. Could be uh, Collins taking on Sviantec in the fourth round round. All right, so there you go. Second, next section of the draw. Uh, you got Bedosa, the number 11 seed. Take on McNally. First round. Winner of that match takes on either Rakamova or Bandel in the second round. Uh, then you got Bondaire taking on Bogdan. Winner of that match takes on either Yastremska or the number 17 seed, Ostapenko in the second round. So Bedosa, Ostapenko, possible third round matchup. Then you've got Zhang, the 29th seed, taking on uh, Galful. Winner of that match takes on either Pera or Uchiyama in the second round. Then you've got Radu Kano taking on Korpach. Winner of that match takes on either Siniakova or the number seven seed Goff in the second round. And again, pot potential fourth round matchups between uh, Zhang and Bedosa. Uh, Goff versus Zhang could be a third round. Uh, Ostapenko also floating around. But the main thing is, Sviantec taking on Goff by the seedings could be a quarterfinal. Zhang versus Sviantec quarterfinal. Bedosa quarterfinal against Sviantec. Ostapenko could be the quarterfinal opponent for Sviantec. Okay, let's go to the next section now. We start at the top with the number three seed, Pagula, taking on Christian in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Sasnovich in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier taking on the wild card, Gadecki. Winner of that match takes on either Kostjuk or the number 28 seed, Anisimova in the second round. So Anisimova, Pagula, third round potential. Then you've got Krajikova, the 20th seed, taking on Quali. Winner of that match takes on either the wildcard Gibson or another qualifier. Then you've got another qualifier in this section taking on Kalanina. Winner of that match takes on either and Van Utbank or the number 15 seed Kvitova. So Kvitova, Krajikova could be a third round. Kvitova versus Pagula, fourth round. Now Kvitova did beat Pagula in the uh, in the United Cup earlier last week, so or two weeks ago. So that's a tough matchup. All right, next part of the draw, number 10 seed. Madison Keys takes on Blinkova in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Wong or Hunter, the wild card. Uh, Tomanovich takes on Podoroska. Winner of that match takes on either Kennen or Azarenka. 24th seed Azarenka. That is insane. That is insane. Azarenka Kennen, former champions going out in the first round. Then we've got Teichman taking on Dart. Winner of that plays either Zhu or Marino in the second round. Then we've got Kachova taking on a, a qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Yuan or the number seed Zachary in the second round. So look, it doesn't get, it started crazy. It's a little bit less crazy now. Potential quarterfinal opponent between Zachary and uh, Pagula, if you're going by the seeds. Uh, or if you want to go with something a little bit more random, maybe you go with Keys taking on Pagula. Um, Kvitova taking on uh, Zachary quarterfinal. And remember, this section of the draw plays Sviantec section. So Pagula taking on uh, taking on uh, Sviantec semifinal. Zachary versus Sviantec semifinal. If you're going to go by the seeds, Goff taking on Zachary. Uh, if she upsets uh, Sviantec along the way, or uh, Pagula versus Goff, also a possible semi-final in the top half of the draw. All right, next section of the draw, the top section of the bottom half. Starting at the top here with Kazakina, the number eight seed, taking on Gracheva. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Tatiana Maria in the second round. Then you've got Kostea taking on Putin Seba. Winner of that match takes on either Wong or the 30th seed Pliskova in the second round. Then we've got uh, Song, take, the 23rd seed, taking on Teague. Winner of that match takes on either Martic or Golovic in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Rodina. Winner of that match takes on either Zanevska or the number nine seed Kudamatova. So potentially a quarterfinal there between, or a fourth round there between 
Kudamatova, and Kazakina, who I think played at the French Open last year. Very nice draw for Kazakina and Kudamatova. I mean, the Russians have a good draw in this section. Let's go to the next part of this draw, starting with Contivate, the number 16 seed, taking on Grabber in the first round. Second round opponent, potentially, between Sharif and Lynette. Then you've got Parry and Townsend, the two wild cards going at it. Winner of that match takes on either Bonaventure, or the number 19 seed, Alexandrova, in the second round. Then you've got Bagu, the 27 seed, taking on Jung. Uh, winner of that match takes on either Bronzetti or Sigamund in the second round. Then you've got one of the best first rounds going around. Fernandez taking on Cornet. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or the number four seed Garcia. I mean, that is a banger section of the draw. Uh, Fernandez versus Garcia or even Cornet Garcia. Very, very fun. Cornet played really well here last year as well. So uh, very fun part of the draw there. A little less intense, I guess, but you know, Garcia's got to like that. She's got some good uh, and uh, definitely, I would say the best, probably so far, the best draw. Uh, of course, quarterfinal potential as well between Garcia and Kazakina, who had played an epic match last year at the uh, WTA Finals. It went all the way down to a tie break. Kudamatova could take on Garcia if we're going by the seeds. But uh, man, yeah, Garcia's got to like that draw. All right, last section of the draw now. This is going to be interesting because you've got number five seed Sabalenka taking on Martin Kova first round. That's fun. Winner of that match takes on either a qualifier or Shelby Rogers, who is a dangerous player in every single draw. Davis takes on Kovinic. Winner of that match takes on either Muguruza or the 26th seed Mertens uh, in the second round. Mertens versus Sabalenka. Third round potential because uh, and they've, uh, they've been uh, doubles partners in the past. So that could be a fun reunion. Then you have the 21st seed Trevison taking on a qualifier. Winner of that takes on either Pavlyuchenkova or Georgie in the second round. Then you've got Lou taking on Brengel. Winner of that match takes on either Tomova or the 12th seed Bencic. So Bencic versus Sabalenka. Possible fourth round matchup. If we're going by the seed, and the last section of the draw, you've got Haddad Meyer, the 14th seed, taking on Diaz. Winner of that takes on either Stevens or Popova in the second round. Then you've got Vekic taking on Qualifier. Winner of that match takes on either Polini or the number 18 seed, Samson Nova, in the second round. Then Kanepi, the 31st seed, takes on Birrell, the wild card in the first round. Winner of that plays either Fruvitova or another wildcard, Forlez, in the second round. Then you've got Risk Amritraj taking on Von Drusova. Very fun first round. Winner of that will take on either Zedinshek or the number two seed, Jabur, in the second round. Jabur versus Hadad Meyer, fourth round. That's fun. Samsonova versus Jabur, fourth round. Kanepi versus Jabur, third round. All very tough matches. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the uh, other part of the draw here. So Sabalenka, Jabur, uh, possible quarterfinal. Uh, quarter Bencic, Jabur, also possible quarterfinal and of course this section takes on Garcia section so we could be getting uh, Garcia taking on Jabur we could be getting Kazakina taking on Jabur we could be getting uh, Sabalenka taking on Kazakina or Garcia uh, and many other things in between but that is the women's draw that's the women's draw for 2023 tough for Sviantec very very top heavy draw for sure Gets a little bit light in the middle there with Garcia. I think she's probably got the best draw based on rankings and also based on the opponents around her. Top section's tough. Sviantec, toughest draw. But let me know down in the comments below. I'm still picking her to win. Let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think's going to win the Australian Open for the ladies? And do you think Sviantec is going to get further in the draw than maybe the first week? Because the first week's tough. She could lose in the first round, third round, fourth round, quarter five. I mean, Sviantec's very tough. I like Garcia's draw, though. I think Garcia's got a very good draw. Say to Sabalenka. Sabalenka's got a pretty good draw as well. So if you want to go a little bit outside, but tough draw for the top seed at the Australian Open this year.